Well, that's it, guys. You can no longer trust anyone as one of the most sacred bonds of trust has now been broken. The bond between medical professional and patient as on last Friday, coronavirus legislation was changed to allow police to access medical records under the guise of COVID protection, supposedly to be used to see if you're meant to be self-isolating. Now, I say supposedly and under the guise of because now this has been allowed. How long will it be before the government give police the ability to dip in and out of everyone's medical records when they want? For example, to see if they're on their way to deal with someone whose medical record shows a history of depression or mental health. And I, and I mean depression, not just psychosis. In order to prepare themselves to use this against you, should you not simply comply with unlawful orders or should they want to teach you a lesson? It said that as of 5 p.m. on Friday, the police can now access track and trace data to check whether you have been told to self-isolate in the face of a thousand pound penalty notice. And what I find particularly interesting about this is that the mainstream media reports self-isolation times to be seven days if tested positive and 10 days if you've had contact with a person who's tested positive. This is a very different stance to just a few months ago where people were told to self-isolate for 10 days if positive and 14 if you have had contact with someone who tested positive. Does anyone else think the shorter time frames may be a reason for more infections or is it just me? Bear in mind that I still don't believe and have not seen any evidence that old Coroni is as deadly as being made out. But surely if people are allowed to go out again after 10 days and they are still carrying Coroni, then this would help with the government's infection rate figures, wouldn't it? Tory MP Jeremy the Cut, I mean Jeremy Hunt and Test and Trace Chief Dildo, Dido Harding have both called for more support to ensure people follow the rules. Meanwhile, police have said they need more information about people in order to enforce it. Previously, council or test and trace workers could pass self-isolation notification data to any person to let them carry out a function under the law or prevent danger to public health. That data included the contact details of the person asked to self-isolate and the date they received the order to quarantine. But the scope and amount of the data has now been extended. Data that can now be passed to police also includes the individual's date of birth, their address, their phone number and email address. Also includes a copy of the order to self-isolate, how it was issued and whether the person is taking part in COVID research. I'm sure there's more information apart from that being passed over. Barrister Adam Wagner, who doesn't necessarily seem to be on the side of the people, said on Twitter, this will make it easier for police to enforce people breaking self-isolation rules. Currently, there has been practically no enforcement. Data says only a small proportion of people meant to be self-isolating are fully doing so. But obviously this raises important human rights questions about police because police will be given access to information about our movements and social interactions. They are only permitted to use that data for the purposes of COVID rules enforcement, but will they? The government insisted the data can only be disclosed in limited circumstances for carrying out certain functions. An explanatory note added, that, added the law is a safety measure designed to drive up compliance with self-isolation for those most at risk from spreading the virus. Any improvement to the way these regulations are upheld should have a positive impact on the public health of the country. But clearly not the mental health, obviously. A Department of Government compliance spokesman, uh, I mean a Department of Health spokesman, said it's important the police are able to investigate breaches and they will continue to work with test and trace to take enforcement action against individuals who flout their legal duty to self-isolate to protect the public and save lives. Well, we'll see how far this goes. because I'm pretty sure this is be the start of an ever increasing amount of powers giving the police access to data. Very big thank you to channel supporters one and all, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.